What's going on team? Welcome back along to Global Rugby Manager where today the new season kicks off where we are on the road taking on the Birmingham Zulu. Now last season it didn't end the way we quite wanted it to but today we're back with a new one and I'll catch you up what happened last season in just a second but first things first you may have noticed that was the team on screen there and um, we'll have to go through exactly what's changed exactly what is different as we get the game underway Hamilton kicking off the invaders in the red and yellow and it is the Zulu in the black and white okay we've quickly kicked a touch and it's gone out just short of halfway and it is the Zulu with the ball first and Hamilton quickly threads it out to Musa with the ball in hand and an early chance for the Zulu to put points on the board. What happened last season? No, I hear you saying it was, well, Smith goes straight through the big number eight. Up to the 22. He's still, we've turned it over. Yes, good work, invaders. Clear this away, please, boys. Griffith was sick, just does the job. Gets it just up to halfway. Not quite to touch, but a chance to attack there. Louis Pichella was first man on the tackles. Here is Smith. Once more, having another strong run. As Zulu come out, big defense in midfield there from the invaders. And we put them into their own half for the first time this match. Which is a very delightful thing to see. Quick hands finds Smith again. Their number eight is a freak of a man. As Franken is taken out. Oh, Gossard at the back. We've turned this ball over again. Do we run? We do. We're running nice and we knock it on. Well... What a terrible start for us here. Big chance out wide for Gray. Here comes Gossard up against him. Oh, just about in the corner was Gray. We've done just enough to stop him and put him in touch. This is a very exciting start from the Zulu so far as now they come out. Shifting out wide again. Chris Williams, he's picked it up. Williams over 10 and towards the 22 he goes. Chris Williams, he's the speedster. We've hardly touched the ball and we've got the only try. What a turnaround by the invaders. That was unbelievable. A mistake on the left wing. And Chris Williams makes no mistake about the chance at all. Takes it all the way home. 7 0 invaders. Wow. Where did that come from? Quite a miraculous start, this, from the invaders after being under the pump for so long. Now, last season, of course. We did lose Gage Carter to retirement, so you would have noticed he's not in the starting lineup. We've got some big talent coming through who hopefully we'll see on the ball sooner or rather. Later. There's a shocking pass there through the face of the fly half and the inside center of the Zulu, and no chance of either of them touching the ball. A big tackle there. And they just go backwards at the moment. So, yes. No Gage Carter in the team now, unfortunately, but um, yeah, it's plenty more talent coming through the side. And, of course, new season. So last season, what happened? We finished fifth. If you want to know why I didn't cover the end of last season, go check out an earlier video I did on the channel explaining why uh, the videos were a bit slow over that period of the end of the season. Um, spoiler alert, I was going on holiday, and uh, so I, I kind of filtered them out a little bit uh, for while I was away. Yeah. Didn't happen. We're going to get that video anyway. It does explain uh, what the situation is at the moment. The season ended. We finished fifth. We missed out on the playoffs. Uh, we had a really poor end to the season, which was kind of expected, given that we played the better teams at the end, um, the worst teams at the start. So we looked really good at the start, pummeled them all, and then kind of fell off the pace and missed out uh, on the playoffs by just a whisker, unfortunately. But alas, it's no big loss. We if anything, it's a bit of an opportunity for us to start again now in this new season and try and make this post a bit of a winner and try getting those playoffs, try getting a final for once. Um, we have a long, little look after today's matchup as to who's in our division again. We haven't signed any youth players or anything like that, so uh, not too much there to go over just um, where we sit on the table and all that sort of exciting stuff. But uh, we've kicked this away through none other than Duplessis and the... Uh, Zulu are coming back strong here, but they're not making their way through our defense. Look at the stacked line they got out there. If they fire this out, they're in for a big chance. And they do find it to Haigasi. He gives it nicely to Graham, and they just run out of space there on the right-hand edge. We are 
thundering their way through this first half of the moment so far. That's been spilt again. We do have the only try, which of course was that brilliant runaway from the spilled ball to Chris Williams. We'll see if we can defuse this yet again from the Zulu. If we can, we'll move on forward to the next highlight in the game, which hopefully will be more Invaders brilliance. Um, as this game wins on. 7-0 the score. Intercepted from Van der Marwe. Here he is. Hadar Patel. He goes away himself now. Oh, couldn't quite find the fend. We were almost in for two really big opportunities of mistakes. Oh, look at this. Sam Cooper out wide all by himself. Puts in a thunderous shoulder. Come on, boys. Let's double that lead. Fire it out wide. We've got numbers. We've got space as well. There goes the Gossan. One more. Phil Muhammad. Oh, they don't stop Phil normally, but he's lost the ball. And it's been knocked on. We've got a scrum. Let's see what we can do from the scrum, shall we? And then hopefully a try. Oh, I thought Patel was in. We talked a little bit about Gage Carter leaving. And I was kind of leaving Patel for a, a grand entrance. Well, what more of a grand entrance could you get um, than an inter intercept by your prop? Followed up by a brilliant pass to Patel. Here is what Shek. He is, of course, the incumbent inside centre. Strong player, strong character as well. As we continue to fire to this left-hand edge through Karat Skerity into the 22. He goes again. Here's Dupasi threading the needle of Waschek, who plays once again that power game. Quick ball, please, see me hammer this left-hand side. Patel, one more. He goes to Muhammad. Back into Thomas. And, of course, Thomas was the uh, youth player we got last season. Yep, he's that good. He's just powered his way straight to the starting lineup after one season. So, amazing stuff from him. Bucko, of course, another one. And at Hooker, a youth player from a couple of seasons ago, has thundered plus a couple of really close competitors to that same spot to make his way in. Thomas again involved. He gets over the top. And the ball spilt and picked up from Davis. Our breakaway chance for seven. And here comes the Zulu. But he spills the ball. Knocked on, not quite. It was some shade of a kick by the Zulu player as we look to rumble it out from now a back an hour and a half. Mistake by the Zulu after a mistake by the Invaders. But this game is really going end to end. As looks like close to touch. Still go. Now is it? No, still not by Chris Williams. How long does this first little period of the game go on? Duplessis slides it away to Patel. And we're in our own half. Are we going to make anything happen from this? Looks unlikely as the turnover comes the way of the Zulu. We'll leave it here for this highlight as I go breaking away through Smith once more. Uh, but we're back with plenty more in just a tick. Well, as you can see, it's uh, a few minutes on now to the 15th minute. And, and still the Zulu are right here on our 22. So it's a bit of a dangerous sort of period. Oh, that's a great pass back to Smith. Where did that come from? Phase after phase after phase. They have been hammering away for the last four or five minutes um, and then they just go bang who else though Smith has been brilliant the number eight outstanding for the Zulu they tied up the conversion through Andrew Hamilton and the scoreline is back to seven all between the two sides could be a chance for an early turnover there for the invaders not quite so they do obviously break through we joined it at just the right time as the ball is knocked on there by Francis out of injury on no did you see that? Did you see? Matt Ward's on the field and he's just run straight to the first defender he can see. Oh no, Simon Thander is out injured. Oh goodness me, Gossard to send a guy to the moon with a massive charging run. I'm a bit not happy to, to be completely fair. Oh, Simon Thander do see he's a great fan throw from Smith. Get out of here, Smith. He has knocked it on. It's advantage to the Invaders. We'll move on, though. Um, as we near the 20-minute mark, Simon Fan is broken. And I am not happy. Welcome along to the second half, everyone. Yes, we've just had those couple of big highlights from the first 40 minutes. And what a take from Evans! Josh Evans flying high like an eagle! Here we go! Invaders now back in the game as Gossard plays first receiver. Gets the ball away nicely, and her Patel is back in the action. Cooper goes way to Oscek, slides on through, Thomas the big man, goes a pick and go from Cooper, try invaders, Sam Cooper scores, but what a run from Alexander Thomas and Sam Cooper the pick and go, we looked so good out of the sheds, 
Matt Ward adds extra two. Of course, a very capable fly half. Number 10 is Matty Ward. It's a bit of a shame to lose Sam Athan to do a placebo. I'm sure Matty can do the job just nicely. Patel is heavily involved in this matchup, and I'm quite excited. Here's Gossard wrong. Running and launching an attack, but just fires his pass from the outside wide for Williams and to touch. Here's another opportunity though for the Zulu. Can they make this pay? An instant hit back would be vital for them. And here comes Graham. Into the 22 he goes for the Zulu. Now they come near side, firing a, a bit of a miss pass and a turnover. It was slow coming. Looks like someone's down her in the background there. But kick this away, Wardy, and we can move on from here. It is 14-7. Is that? He was in the 22, wasn't he? Goodness me, that's all right. It's all good. 47 to score. We've turned the ball over again. The line-out's working nicely, and we are in control of this fixture against the Zulu. Kind of. Seven-point lead is enough. Okay, so a knock-on advantage by the Zulu in their own 22. has given us this golden opportunity now. Oh, look at that step from Phil Muhammad. Just about slices straight through. What a chance this is for the invaders as Thomas is back again. On the left hand side, six or seven meters out, it goes away. Patel! Oh, a chop goal! Hadar Patel! He's got it over! Well, that wasn't in the script. 14 0 be or 14 7, I should say, becomes 17 7. As Patel starts to drop him. Well, there you go. Everything is an option. The new man. On this debut, has just calmly slotted a drop goal to extend our lead now out to 10 points. Nothing on it. We kicked. We got a chance. We've quickly, two phases, turned it into three points, which I'm pretty happy about as well. 17-7 to score. Pressure now on the Zulu to hit back. Oh, some brilliant breakdown work here from the Invaders. That was Josh Evans. You give your number seven a chance, and he's going to take it. Patel! Oh, a couple of flat ball passes puts Patel through the gap. That is beautiful work. Can he get the try? On oh, debut, he can't. So close here for Patel. Can we quickly recycle? Can we get the space out wide? Evans! Vandermova! Brian Vandermova scores. The invaders are in. That is another brilliant try, our third of the match. And Matty Ward from the left hand side will put this astray. That is a bizarre one, but how about that? Hadar Patel, I mean, Gage who? Last season, I don't know who you're talking about. That is brilliant by the debutante coming in. Line break after line break. He's having a storming matchup. Can he keep it up, though, throughout this whole season? I mean, impressed. We've turned over the line now as well. That is a shocking pass. What a shit. Just a, a, that was terrible. What on earth was going on? They have got the South Superiority, though. The Zulu and a drop goal attempt coming in from Hamilton. Will be a stray. We've just got to seal it away. That'll be good. Back for the penalty for the Zulu. We could be in for double tries here. No. No. Well, he missed the drop goal. He wants to take the shot off the tee instead, please. He's like, oh, I'm sorry, sir. But off the ground just was not quite my action. I would like a, a tee so I can kick it off there instead. You absolute poof to Hamilton. Real like he'll do it like a real man, like Patel, and kick it over off the droppy. Anyway, that is three points for the Zulu. And it puts the scoreline now to 22 points to 10. I mean, this game has escalated rather rapidly, hasn't it? Uh, we lead by 12. Uh, so two converted tries will be the lead for the Zulu. I think we've just lost our own line out, which is a bit of a shame. Set piece has been pretty good so far. Oh, straight through Smith. Why is it always Smith? That guy is ridiculously good. It is still knock on advantage for the Zulu. Can they? No, they've lost it. Advantage over, says the referee, and a chance now for us to attack the breakdowns. As we hit the hour mark, 20 minutes only to go, and it's been a game of brilliant chances, but taken nicely by the two sides so far. The injury to Simon Thander is a bit of a concern. We're going to get this turnover now. Yes, we do. Good work, boys. Round of applause for all. Let's kick this away. What's Jack do the job? He does. He kicks nicely over the wingers head, but fullback covers nicely. And there's uh, Haigashi. Who slips it just short of the halfway line. We are in the lead. 22 points to 10. The Zulu under pressure. As we look to force them back into their own territory. And uh, hopefully with another mistake. But we've got 19 minutes to go. We'll see what other action comes from those minutes. Well, the Zulu were uh, brutally unlucky here because their line-out should have been theirs. Either way, we've thrown it over the top. And it's been stolen from Smith. 
Of course it's Buddy Smith. Every time. Um, we actually knock that ball on and to touch his little kick up the top. Look for the corner. The big kick. Oh, what a tag. What a tag from Franken. Timothy Franken scores. And the Zulu strike back just a few minutes since we left you. That is a great try and the conversion is good. Well, Hamilton adds the extras. What a kick though. A little deft little bomb into the corner. I love that work from him and the take from Franken. Just brilliant. Uh, opening up a whole new avenue for points by these teams as well. As here is Hamilton again. Kicking this long away from Gossard. And into touch. 65 pretty much into the game now. 15 to play. The lead is just five points. Win the line now, boys. Thank you very much. Let's get this downtown. Playing their side of the half. There's no one back there. Acres of space from Matt Ward. Oh, and a mistake in the back from the Zulu. And that is a killer play from their fullback. Let's get the scrum. Come on, boys. Buckle in. We go. Far side. Patel, who's been tremendous, has lost the ball. Well, there we go. Chance gone. Thanks for coming. Well, into the final 10 minutes we go now. And the Zulu have a scrum just inside their 22. Can they make this work out something nice here? Can we attack it? Oh, we've attacked it. You better beat your ball. Dollar, we stuffed it 10 minutes ago. But another chance is right on our shoulders here. Now, finish this. Finish the game. Finish the job. Give it to Phil. Phil's the hero. Phil Muhammad scores. And the Invaders surely now will take victory and a bonus point against the Zulu. Great work. No Simon Thander, no problem. We got this sorted. Great passing through the back line and a beautifully slotted play, giving Phil Muhammad, who's got all the acceleration, all the top end speed you could dream of, to finish the job. Now, we are just four and a bit minutes from the end. That's a penalty. Oh my goodness, that's a penalty. Um, so we'll stick with the rest of the game. Surely now with the lead of 12 points of Phil Muhammad running rampant down the left wing, not for the first time tonight. Uh, we should have this in the bag. Four to play. Advantage on our side. A, a shocking pass. Finds Cooper in all sorts of trouble. And are we going to play? Oh, we, oh, wow. Wow, that penalty advantage is gone. Well, that's quite unbelievable. Are we going to kick this way? I would like to play down whatever side I'm going to be on. I would like to play down the Zulu's end of the field please and Matt Ward well he obliges beautifully as well that is a nice kick downfield and here he is Bagasi oh a little one two he plays here with Franken inside outside back again he goes now now they've got a good I don't know 75 meters to go to get down our end of the field this is where we can play the territory game they've got to score twice and they've gone straight through Hamilton's been impressive he tries to spin his way out of trouble can't do so Quick ball recycled though, Smith. Oh, Smith, and it's been knocked on. And it'll be advantage invaders. And more time just gets scrubbed off that clock. We've just got two and a half to play. And Matt Ward puts a little grubber kick through. Oh, great chase as well from Matty Ward. Smith gets poleaxed. And we go again. They go short this time. They try to force their way. They're, they're not getting through out of fence. They've got a weak pocket of players right there, which is going to be good for the Ruck. They'll smack them straight away. Two minutes to play. And another short one-off play to Zivon. You've got to go wide, boys. You've got to go wide, Zuli. You want to break us down here? You've got to go wide. And they do, too. That is nice play. Beautifully to Musa. He's going to lose this, though. Yes, he's lost it. Excellent work. The Invaders just... By their time, they wait to strike. That's a flat wobbly pass to Phil Muhammad. One more, Phil. Go around the wall. Beat them. Not quite. Carrots was right there. Great to have a player right on hand to keep hold of the ball. Now, Josh Evans. Blonde to blonde. We go back to the short side. Yeah, that was average, wasn't it? Phil Muhammad gets axed again. Out to Wozniak. Short ball. 12 and 13. Operating flawlessly at the moment. Carrots. Oh, beautiful skip pass. Seven carrots out wide. Run him over. Now he gets it. Chris Williams, who gets defender a ball at the exact same time. They continue on short side. Patel always keen for a hit up. We've got just a minute to play now. 29 17. It is, well, all over Red Rover as far as the results concerned. But the Zulu score a try. They can still pick themselves up a bonus point. Losing within seven. So let's see if they can at least manage that. As here is Andre Bucco. 
having a charge. We haven't seen his name too much tonight. We've only had the one injury, of course, is Watschek. Loves to take a tackle. He's, he's really a, a 13 playing a 12. But um, alas, on we go. Flat pass intercepted by Hamilton. Who else would intercept that? Now, Matt Ward is on the floor in the background. And, I mean, you're behind by 12. Why would you aimlessly kick it into our own goal? I mean, was that dead or... That was dead. That was a silly play. 18 minutes is up. Give it out to someone to smack into touch. And the invaders. We got a bonus for a loose bind anyway. Do we have to play the penalty? We do. <laughs> we got to play the penalty. Which Matt Ward will slot into touch anyway. Now is this new rules or old rules? Will this be all over? Or do we have to tap it first? No, it's all over. And Chris Williams has picked up man of the match for the invaders. His opening try really was quite a cracker. And it was... Great reward, too, for having the winger, because quite often we do get a bit, I don't know, indecisive when we want Clyde Edwards on that wing or Chris Williams. End of last season, I kind of went for Chris Williams because of that pace. He is just a little bit faster than Clyde Edwards. It's paid off nicely for us here as we've come away with that early try, got us in that frontward, forward momentum, and from there on out, it was all invaders on their side. So here, I want to see this try again. It was nice passing. There's the error. Chris Williams, bang, onto it like a flash, and away he goes. Like a lightning. He's gone. Brilliant work. Great try. Chris Williams, you love to see it. Let's have a look at some stats. Speaking of loving to see it, 29-17 is the full-time score. We dominated possession and territory, 58 and 54% respectively. Missed tackles, 15 by us, 25 by the Zulu. But of course, the big one, the most one that counts, four tries to the invaders their hands were a lot better overall we played a lot better game turnovers conceded we actually won that too they conceded eight we only conceded six a really dominant display by the invaders here tonight which i'm very pleased to kick our season off with that sort of play now chris williams out wide of course got the first try five points for him as well got a try assist which is very nice to see also but i like those bottom two lines really do personify his performance 11 tackles and three turnovers forced from a winger you don't see that very often from your number 14 having a look at the stats here tonight let's see what we have got on the side so it's actually a little bit more compressed isn't it i thought this was a little bit smaller so we're actually just about to see the whole squad in there as well of course it was matt ward was the man who came on and played a 46 from just over an hour's play. The starting off the front row, Blaine Van Amerva grabbed himself a try, played only a 31.1. His front row partner, Alexander Thomas, also on debut tonight, played very good, 32.3. Uh, That's a starter for Alexander. I'm sure we are only going to get better from him. It's almost a whole new team here, isn't it? We've got those core areas. We've got new players forcing their way through into the side. Andre Bucco, of course, a hooker, played a storming game, 52 7 rating for him. Into the second row was a 54 for Lucas and Getty and a 32 for Leon Richards. The back row, Louis Pichella, Josh Evans and Sam Cooper all playing 60s, two 67s and a 61 for Sammy at number 8. Carrots come in with a 46 and it was a, well, a poor night for Simon Vander. Quarter of an hour on the field and off he goes with an injury. But from 15, 16 minutes, getting a 20 rating is still pretty decent. Grabbed a couple of points to get his season's tally underway. Into the midfield, we saw, of course, Griffith Wozczyk. And it was another outstanding performance from Griffith Wozczyk. A 62.3. He had another commanding display. He is a real asset in the middle of that back line. And he's going to be around, hopefully, for a long, long time. And we've got a good partnership, too, with Patel, who's at 13. Played a nice 37.6. So I'm pretty happy with how my 12 and 13, that new combination, went in the middle of the park. Uh, Phil Mahmoud, oh, wow, a 74.8. And Chris Williams, a 76.4. The wingers, they were on fire. I tell you what, they were amazing. And, of course, at the back, quite nice for Bartoli Gossard, who normally does tell whether we're going to win these games or not by how well he plays. He is such an influential character. Uh, any real mistakes by anyone? Uh, what's check made a couple of handing errors. Missed tackles. I think we had one player, Blaine Van Amerva, missed three. Uh, but everyone else was one and a couple of twos. So very solid. A lot of 100% tackling records in these games as well by our players. So I'm pretty happy with how that game went. 
but he have how it worked out as well. A win over the Zulu is no mean feat, so I'm happy to take the five points as well. That has started our season off fantastically. Okay, everyone, here is an updated look at the table. After the fourth round results from round number one, we can see the Bangor Raptors are at the top, and they are at the top strongly as well. Pretoria Bulls, no match for the Raptors, 103 nil. Now, it's a bit of a rarity when you get the hundos in these games, but it's brilliant to see the Raptors have joined in there, picking up one this season. We got one last season as well. But it looks like the same teams are going to be the teams to beat. We sit second. Then the Cargill Invaders, one win. Of course, the bonus point win as well. Us and the Raptors, the only two sides to get bonus points, victories, and it seems to be the Sharks have actually picked up a wild bonus point loss. The Patriots and the Sharks, what a start to the season. To have those two clashing, uh, you'll find by the end of the season they will be one and two. Uh, the Patriots certainly will, and the Sharks will be right up there as well. Look out, though, for the Allentown Reds, who sit in third. They are a good side, 22-7 victory for them um, over the Cardiff Capitals, who are actually a pretty decent team as well. We've got a lot of good teams in this division as well. Uh, the London Force took out the Canterbury Cobras as well to find them in fourth. And um, the other assault, what would that be that we haven't gone through? That's about it, isn't it? Yes, of course. The Patriots, 21, Sharks, 19. That is game of the round already. What a cracker. But unfortunately for CJ and his boys, couldn't get the job done, but expect them, like I say, to be in those playoffs later on this season. Next season, we are up against Canterbury Cobras, who went down in round one. Who did they lose to? Already, I've lost it. The London Force. Okay, so we, we should be doing this easy again. Uh, Cabbage, <laughs> he's going to have a tough season unless he improves his side out of mind there. So uh, that's who we're up against next week. That'll be coming for you as well next weekend. So make sure you keep your eyes peeled for that. But a uh, great way to start the season. Great way to kick things off. What else do we want to look at? Nothing else has happened in the off season. Um, we didn't get any youth players. Uh, we didn't get um, any signings. I mean, the team is just progressing nicely. You might be able to look at the side here. You can see Alexander Thomas. We've put him straight in the team. He's 20 years old, but 87. He is just a freak. An absolute freak of a man. Uh, he's come straight in the front row. Uh, we do have to change uh, Matt Ward into 10, but I think I've done it too late for the deadline. So we'll still be seeing a, a slightly injured side Mathander for uh, round two before he has a sit-out. Uh, Haidal Patel, he's the man coming in at outside centre. He had a great debut performance, and he is only going to get better as well. But that's a little bit of a look at the team. We are looking very strong. I'm pretty happy with how we've come around. Annoyed that I missed out on youth players completely this season. Um, but I will be checking out the transfer list because, keep this in mind team, we have quite a bit of dosh sitting there. I've been quite shrewd this season, I, I do think, over the last couple of seasons. We've sold a lot of that Deadwood players we just never use now. And um, we've actually got a little bit of cash uh, in the kitty. So I'm going to keep an eye on that transfer list and see who we can pull in. Now I am going to look at league leaders from the team of the week from the opening round of the new season this season 13 of course and we got Andrew Andre Andre get his name right Andre Bucko starting at hooker for the team of the week at 52.7 getting him in there we'll say Louis Pichella 67 got him at our blindside flank the 67 from um, Josh Evans not enough to get him in at 7 or the 61 not enough Simon Smith a 95 holy hell that is crazy absolutely crazy look at this our former player Callum Davis Man of the match, I mean, no, not man of the match, team of the week for the Bangor, Bangor Raptors. That is amazing. He wasn't even good enough for our side. And he's gone straight into the Raptors. Hmm, something's out there, isn't it? The rest of the back line, though. Phil Mahmoud starts on the left wing. Chris Williams on the right wing. And Griffith Wozczyk at inside centre. We've done well here. We've dominated uh, the team of the week, I think, here with, what, one, two, three, four, five of the 15 players. Uh, the Zulu played really well as well. Look at that. So you got one, um, two, just the two players. But I mean, 95, that is insane. He's player of the round with a rating like that. That is crazy stuff from the Zulu. But let's wrap us up for round one of season 13 on Global Rugby Manager. If you do want to manage your own team, you just need to go to globalrugbymanager.com. Download this little client like this, create yourself a team, and you too can be involved in this amazing rugby management simulation it's, it's the best out there it really is it's got the same engine that they use in rugby champions so if you're not 
um, familiar with that. It's pretty much a playable version of this game. Um, if you've seen on my channel already, Rugby Champions, it's very similar to that. It plays in the same engine. It's a great rugby engine, and it just makes for a great management simulator as well. So very much looking forward to getting into this season as well. So if you do want to join in, it's a good time now to get in right at the start of the new season as well. As always, big thanks to the guys at GRM for supporting the videos on the channel, and I'll be back with plenty, plenty more in the coming weeks as well. Until then, thanks for watching, and take care.